So let's build a really quick Gantt chart. And so let's just start over here and we're going to input our first date. And so I'm just going to start with January 1st. You can populate from here, but I'm not going to go into that right now. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the date format. I'm going to get rid of the year and just go down to a simple month day. And then we're going to go to this cell equals this one plus one. And then we're going to basically drag that over. So let's go ahead and make these narrower. So maybe something like 30. We'll try that for now. And then we're going to have to add some more columns. So let's go ahead and drag this over about nine more and more. We'll start with 10 here. Drag that over. We'll go ahead and resize this one. And let's go ahead and resize the rest of these. And then we'll start building out our logic. So 30, and then let's make this a little smaller as well. Let's just condense this a little bit here. So we can probably wrap these. Just trying to get this to fit nicely in here. And so if we go over here, let's probably make these a little narrower as well. Maybe something like 20. And then let's resize this. So we can change the font and go down a little bit. And then center these in those cells. Another thing we could possibly do is turn it sideways. So some people like that, some people it's harder to see. I think we'll go with that for now. And then we'll actually go just a little bit narrower to make this nice, fit nicely in here. And then let's change the date format on these. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep the year in there, but I'm gonna simplify it just so it doesn't take up so much space in the cells. Let's align those. All right, and so let's jump right in. So what we're gonna do is conditional formatting. And so I'm gonna select these rows and so you could put it all the way down the bottom if you have more than this you can go obviously as much as you have and so basically all we need is we need a date above and then a start and an end date on this side and so let's select this again we're going to go to conditional formatting and then what we're going to do is create a custom formula and then we can determine what color we want this to be so we'll just go with this for now and so here we need a and formula and we need to compare two things so we need to look at this date and this date and then this date and this date and we need to do a little bit with the dollar signs to lock the references so we want f dollar sign three and the way this works is whatever you put the dollar sign before is going to keep it from moving and so this will keep keep comparing as it goes through the columns but it won't change on rows and that's exactly what we want and so then what we want to compare this to, is it greater than or equals to, and then now we need to lock the column, so dollar sign C, and then we're starting in row four here. And then the other part of our and is that same F dollar sign three, is it less than or equal to our end date? And that is in column D, so let's lock that column with the dollar sign, and then wrap that up. And then once I put that closing parentheses on there, you can see the highlighting immediately appears. And so that's good enough to go for now. So let's go ahead and done. And we'll close that out. And so that is the basics of the Gantt chart. Let's just take a few moments to see how we can kind of upgrade the looks on this a little bit if you like. And so maybe we'll put a slightly darker header on this. And then maybe we'll add some lines. So maybe some lines like this to go across. We could do a little visual separation vertically as well, just like that if you want to see it like that. So we could drag this down here just to give us a little separation. So if you have more, and then basically if you need to add more columns, you can just select however many, insert columns to the right, and then just drag this over. And then we'll just want to paint that format. So just click the top of a column, click this paint, and then you can just click and drag across multiple columns, and it's gonna paint that format. And then if we update this, so we go maybe to February 5th, and you can see now that highlighting is still working. And you could do the same thing if you want to add more going down. So that's it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.